Good day students and welcome back to Succeed in Computer Practice with Mr. H. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss citations, how to insert a bibliography, how to manipulate um, page numbers. So here I have a question paper in front of me, question one. We are going to skip one to four and we're going to start with question five, six and seven. Question one, uh, or question one, number one to four is information that you've already, uh, or work and skills that you've already acquired in level or in four and in five. How to insert a header, how to change margins, how to justify text and how to insert open lines. So we are just going to focus now on the newer information that you need to know, which is to create a citation and how to insert a citation. This question paper you will be able to download just below the video in the description section as well as the necessary data files. So if we look at it or read the question, insert a citation after each paragraph printed in italics, which is paragraphs one and four, indicating what the mayor, Mr. Nsumanga, said based on the following criteria. So when you insert your citation, you have to type um, in the type of source section Conference proceedings, you have to type in the author section, Soli in Samanga. The title must be Smoke Free Municipal Facilities. The year should be 2020. The city should be Tuane, and the publisher should be City of Tuane Municipal Municipality Newsletter. Insert the contents highlighted in yellow as an Austin quote in between the paragraphs ending with future and starting with September 2012. Convert the underlined text to a link. Add a comment to the linked text and insert a bibliography. Now, these are all the things that we are now quickly going to do. But we have to start with our citation first. We are going to go and replace all the spots where we see Ms. Manga said they need to become citations. All right. Because those are, we are citing what Ms. Manga said. Ms. Manga is the mayor and he said these things in a speech. Um, so we are now referencing him. So we have to now replace the Nsamanga said with an actual citation. All right. So what we are going to do is we are going to first make sure that we click on the referencing tab. Under the references tab, we are going to insert a citation under the citations and bibliography group. So we're going to click on insert citation. And we're going to click on add a new source. Let's just quickly go back to our question paper. Let's see. Type of source must be conference proceedings. So type of source, we have to go and select conference proceedings. The author, Soli Nsamanga. The author, Soli See manga. The title Smoke Free Municipal Facilities. Smoke Free Municipal Facilities. And it's important that you type it exactly as given. The year is twenty twenty. The city is Chuane. And the publisher is City of Chuane Municipal Newsletter. All right. So once you've typed in all the instructions, then you can click on OK. Now, yeah, what's important is you have to go now and click. Make sure your cursor is placed in the correct spot. In fact, before you insert your citations or before you even create your citation, please make sure that your cursor is placed in the correct spot. So the first spot there, this way our first citation is going to be inserted and from here on it's very easy. All that you do is you click on insert citation and you click on the relevant citation that is now 
available and then just click on it all right and then Mr. Manga 2020 is inserted as a citation which is an indication that Mr. Nsamanga said this and you can find this in the journal called um, of Twane Municipality Newsletter. You can go and find that information. You can read about that information where he said that. All right, so then we just go and replace the next ones. And then we insert the citation. And then we replace this one as well. And we insert the citation. All right, so that is number five how to insert a citation. The next question is, insert the contents highlighted in yellow as an Austin quote, in between the paragraphs ending with future and starting with in September. So basically what that means is the section over here, um, future in September. So in between this paragraph, we have to go and make space so that we can go and insert a something called an Austin quote. All right, so I'm just going to quickly make space here so I can, I'm in, so I, I leave an open line just below the last paragraph and an open line just in front or before the next paragraph. So that in the middle of it, I can clearly do something. Um, I can also activate my show and hide button over here so I can clearly see my my line spacing all right so what is an austin quote an austin quote is basically a text box so if you click on insert and you go and to the text group and you click on text boxes you will see the different type of text boxes that you can insert normally you would just click on text box and you would go and draw a text box but in this case they actually want you to choose one of these options and as you can see the second option is called an Austin quote so if I click on Austin quote that's what it looks like and the inside of it I'm going to delete by pressing the delete key on my keyboard I'm going to copy the highlighted text and I'm going to paste it into my Austin quote. Let's just go back to our question to see if we are still doing the right thing. So insert the contents highlighted in yellow as an Austin quote in between the paragraphs ending with future and starting with in September. And that was all, that's the only instruction. Maybe in the future, the instruction could be centered, maybe make it bold, or underline or whatever the instruction says and then you just go and do that so that's how you would insert an Austin quote you can even take the highlighted part you can deactivate the highlight by clicking on no color all right next question convert the underlined text to a link add the following website link to the paragraph now what I'm going to do is I'm just for, to make it easier for myself. I'm just going to copy this text. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, this is the underlined text and I'm going to convert this to a link. All right. So what you do is you select the specific paragraph and you go then to insert and under insert the links group you are going to select hyperlink under hyperlink you are going to just in the address section you're going to i'm going to paste or you're going to type in or if you were on the internet you can just copy the URL into the address section. All right. And then you click OK. You will notice now that your text has turned to blue, which is an indication that there is now a link. And if you hover your mouse over the text, it also will indicate that there is a link. 
Now, to activate the link, you press Control on your keyboard so that your, your, you will notice that your mouse icon changes to a little hand, and then you can click on it, and it will then direct you to the actual um, article or website that you have chosen. All right, so that's how you you will insert a link. Next question. Add a comment to the linked text with the website link as a reference. Note that your name will be displayed as the comment creator. All right, so we need to then also put a comment to this link. So what you do is you can either just choose the in one word of the section or you can choose the whole section by selecting it and then again under the insert tab but this time around under the comments group you click on comment my name appears because i'm logged in with the username mario hartnick and what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste the link um, again into the comment referring to that this comment I'm, I'm basically telling whoever's going to work with this document that there is a link inserted here and that is the link. All right, next question. Insert a bibliography based on the citations you added. Now, because you've inserted information in your, into your citation, you are now then also able to insert a bibliography. And here they give you an example of what the bibliography is. It's this surname, the initial, the year, uh, the um, article, and where it was, when, it, what city it was published, and also where it was published. All right. So insert a bibliography based on the citations added. So at the end of my document, somewhere over here, I'm going to insert a bibliography. So where do I go? References. Under citations and bibliography, I select bibliography and I choose any of the options I can choose from. Yes, the question paper will specify. If it doesn't specify, then you just click on insert bibliography. And there you go. All right. Thank you, students. That is question one done. And join me in the next video where I will be doing question two, which is how to create an electronic form.